Hello friends, welcome to my Royal Family News Channel. Before moving on to the video, if you are not subscribed to my channel, do not forget to subscribe and turn on notifications, so let's move on to the video. Money cannot buy your personality. What is more, is that the PR companies have to be timid as Meghan is out her doing everything to fix her image. According to a standard source, it is evident that she is looking for PR people in the UK. But can you do anything when you have cash? Find out with me at the moment as we break it all down in this video. Only, remember the one that must be obeyed more commonly recognized as the former member is looking for a British PR company to help relaunch her UK reputation. I don't know about you guys, but I'm seeing numerous red flags. Have you ever heard when Meghan Markle hired Sunshine Sachs and told him to fix and reconstruct my falling image? Now peoples are commenting, and they are wary. The report at one of Britain's biggest and best effective PR companies, and his company at present have three workplaces, including in two great cities in London. And his view is no one is going to want out of taking on Meghan Markle off the table. So, that's our bounders I don't think they are going to turn her blue. And this shouldn't surprise us. As in the case with people who process the most creative weasel words, it's all about money. So, for example, a couple of years ago, because my good friend had to address in the PR company. They certainly aren't the most credible colleagues of all time to deal with, but they know their business. Well, Meghan Markle takes full advantage of it, although she knows how terrible people are. And now I understand what you think. You can take the girl out of the yacht, but you can't leave the yacht and the girl. Well, it doesn't matter which the PR group in the world is. Nobody likes Megan, and even if they did, nobody would like her, even as a person. No, well, honestly, I understand why the PR company agreed to such an agreement, it's all about money. If the demon hired them, they would have accepted, especially if the demon paid for it. And, finally, the talk Meg did this weekend at WME is, wow. They believe it was successful as well, against the paparazzi of Canada on walks around the top shops. Table 12, what do you imply? Or during that red carpet talk with an assistant who tells them to advance? No matter how the world perceives these things as absurd, PR companies count it as successful because, well, they got Megan seen, at times heard. They did their job. And if it all failed, it is because it is Meghan's fault. But again, if you ask me, all of this is just another Meghan Markle dream. No PR company is going to take her on until and unless there is the first hint from Buckingham Palace that says they could be interested. However, my prediction is this silence is going to only get louder. No PR company is going to be dumb enough to take Meghan on if she simply wants to trash the royal family and Britain. And, speaking of money, what money? Harry and Meghan are short on funds. Can't afford their very expensive security anymore. To my mind, this is just another praise piece of work from Meghan Markle and, of course, some people are going to take this seriously. Imagine if Meghan Markle set foot in Britain again. She would be so booed that she would run away. But she never gives up, does she? People really are fickle today, though? I mean, how does the royal family allowed a woman or woman with such a sketchy past that involved lying being used to get what you wanted, drug abuse, and using the casting couch to get to the top do some HRH defaming the monarchy, openly admit to trying to destroy the monarchy and slandering me to go five for truly pathetic? How can people like that come back and supposedly modernize the monarchy? But, I mean, Meghan Markle has her own ulterior motives, obviously. I mean it's no secret that she always has ulterior motives. She cannot be trusted, and she's probably not alone. So what are their motives? Meghan Markle does not have the best interests of the monarchy in her mind. It is ridiculous. Nevertheless, in order to get out of this situation, Buckingham Palace will be forced to make two conclusions, and they will be forced to do so without the assistance of Meghan Markle. First, Buckingham Palace has no grounds to behave in any other way simply because she is a woman of different color. Second, it is important to begin seeing Meghan Markle for who she truly is, since she already is. 
she is an utter failure who lied again and did nothing significant. Her fans are similar to her, and all social network posts and photos taken from different sites were unique and exclusive. You will not find anything like them anywhere. Moreover, Meghan Markle has promised never to return to the United Kingdom. I hope he is telling the truth and that he is a narcissistic psychopath. He may not be British, but I am confident that he will certainly not have the chance to rescue the royal family. Now, she left the UK in haste after disrespectfully criticizing the monarchy and the Queen, there does seem to have such an influence on Harry that he ended up mistreating his old, sick grandparents in their last days. Although Meghan was averse to the UK and promised to never go there again, she hired a PR team based in the UK. What does she intend to achieve by doing all that? Is she likely to convince the royal family and make them beg her and Harry to be senior working royals again? I doubt it. If the Markles were to move back to Britain, what will happen to Meghan's parents, Doria and Marcus Markle? Would they move in with them? And will they be allowed to live on Crown property if Harry maintains one of the residences? Meghan would insist Marcus and her mother be present at the event, who will look after the invisible children and their nannies, Harry will need a large residence with a minimum of 16 bathrooms, probably, he can take over the Buckingham Palace and make it his real home. That would be quite some tourists snooping around. Can Harry's visa issues in the US be related to this? If his US visa rejection causes future planning, will he ever acquire a visa for Occidental visits again? But will Meghan Markle give up or take them to the UK with her? How many UK producers or directors would be queuing up to sign her is something of a mystery, but it possible. Meghan might consider playing such historical figures as in Bullen, a colored Queen Elizabeth I, and even a colored Queen Victoria. She might persuade the king to buy her a private jet so she could fly to LA if those roles don't materialize. Meghan Markle's big break could be just around the corner. It feels like she lives in a world that isn't real. But the monarchy isn't a stage for additions ultimately, and it isn't going to be used as one for a publicity stunt. Meghan seems to be unaware of how widespread the public distaste for her and Harry is. The palace is probably aware of just how much contempt the public has for them and is likely not looking forward to their return. The issue isn't that the monarchy doesn't care about Harry and Meghan, it's that the monarchy has to be unrelenting in order to last throughout centuries. Her social media activity is most likely being watched by security services. As Harry's money is dwindling, it is at least partially gratifying to watch her fritter away his wealth. Most of the people in the UK consider her to be beneath her, meaning that she will never be forgiven and is likely to be laughed at if she tries to return. Yet, in addition to the fact that he ruined everything I had placed hope in, Meghan's intentions have been enkindled. The identical repetitions of their own expressions have become unfamiliar and disgusting. They do wrong and yet want to be important to talk about freedom from them. Disgusting wish. Even in the United States, the topic of the Duke and Duchess is a pressing issue. Or maybe it was just not presented to us well, which Meghan wanted to achieve. You say titles, and everyone rushes. It shows only the pursuit of glory. It is joyful that there is still a monarchy that people recognize. That's it for our video my friends, I hope you have liked it, please let me know your thoughts in the comments, and like the video. If you haven't done so yet if you want to be first to be informed about my content, please subscribe to the channel and make sure you turn on notifications. Thank you for spending this time with me, take care of yourself and stay healthy, I'll see you in the next one.